Good day, everyone. We're here in Investagrams for another video session. And today we're going to teach you how to screen stocks that are being accumulated by foreigners. So why is it important to, to check which stocks are being bought or being sold by foreign funds? Uh, most of the biggest institutions in the market are offshore. So they are foreign mutual funds, hedge funds, or sovereign funds, or government funds. And these funds, when they come in or buy into a stock or a country, they often come into big sizes or big volume. So these volume, the liquidity that they need, the shares that they need to accumulate are often enough to, to pump up the prices. Or if, they, if they're not that keen on a certain country or a certain market, their outflow can be enough to trigger a sell down okay so i'm going to teach you how to screen this easily today just go to the app tab of investagrams and you'll see the screener all right so when you're in the investor screener you're going to see here in the middle part the net foreign indicator so there's one day up to 360 days so for example, so it depends on the time frame, right? So what you can see here is you can check out, depending on what you're looking for, whether net foreign buying, selling, or NFB over 10 million, if you're looking to specific amounts accumulated over the, of, over the 60 day period. So let's start with the basic. Um, if I wanna see which stocks are, which stocks are being bought by foreigners for the last 60 days, then I'm going to choose net foreign buying for 60 days. Okay, so when we do a quick run, we instantly filter which stocks are being foreign bought. And then you can just click the parameter so that you can sort depending on what you want. So here you can see the highest accumulated for accumulated stock by the foreigners which is ICT so 4.86 billion for the last 60 days and then funny thing is <laughs> after that there's no there's no there's no second place I mean none of these other stocks surpass the 3 billion mark or come close to ICT so URC is at less than one third of ICT 1.47 B M Y at 1.45 SMC Ali um, these are pretty pretty small numbers to think like Ali with less than 1 billion in foreign buying that's just around 20 million USD so to put into perspective okay so let's take a look at some of the charts like what's happening in the stocks that are being foreign bought so um, first, let's check ICT. ICT has a strong trend. Oh, no wonder. Maybe that explains why. Okay. So let's see if let's see if it really shows that foreign buying does really push the prices up. Uh, URC a bit expensive at this point. Earnings not that impressive. Decelerating. So it's not just foreign buying, of course. You have to also be aware of other factors, whether technical or fundamental. How about M White? M White has been an okay performer, I think. M White, a good enough short-term trend, right? You can see the trend here. So you've got two out of three. SMC. So this is something new, right? So most most of the time, SMC. If you take a look at the chart of SMC, it's one of the stocks that people that that in the past few years people have not been appreciating much. It went as low as 45. You can see here, 44 area. But then with the net foreign buying for the past 60 days, look at where it is now. That's a solid long-term trend co coming from the bottom part, 180. So again, net, um, the net foreign buying shows us certain indicator 
or certain indication that the stock can be trending or is, is accumulated by big funds. And then let's take a look at for the rank, for the fifth rank and the sixth rank, we have property names, Mega World and Ayala. So Meg, um, it's hovering at the highs. Okay, hovering at the highs, trying to hold initial support levels at the 5, 520 area. But it needs to break around 6 to gain more traction. Okay, but this is the, I think that's the all-time high already of Mega World. Okay, and then Ayala Land has been one of the leaders in the property sector. So we can see a short-term uptrend as well. And I think over the over the long run, this stock has been one of the most consistently accumulated by by foreigners in local institutions. So th that shows the interest in the property sector. And and what's cool is you can see potential outliers using net foreign buying, as you can see here. Previously, no one appreciated SMC, but now take a look at this other name, Globe. Before telcos were slumping down a bit, right? But Globe, with its, I think it's outperforming its earnings. Yeah, 43% increase. Then last year it also did well, 20% increase annually. So I think this is something to watch out for. Even though telcos may be battered, like PLDT is not doing so well. Globe, on the other hand, is a, di is a quite different play. And probably foreigners are starting to accumulate, as you can see here, with around 700 million in foreign buying. And then there's FB. Okay. So the end, end lesson here is we can get some clues as to what the foreigners are thinking by looking at their flows. Of course, net foreign buying, just like any indicator, isn't shouldn't be played standalone. You shouldn't make your decisions based on one simple indicator. You have to confirm that whether you're a fundamentalist, you have to check out the earnings. Whether you're a technical player, you have to see what's happening in the short-term patterns or indicate other technical indicators of the, the stocks that you're trading. But then if you want to know what are the big boys doing, what are, what are the big funds doing, then this is a good way to check the stocks that they like. Okay, And it may give us a big clue on which stocks are going to continue to sustain demand, sustain trends for the future. All right. So I hope you enjoy our lesson today. And we're going to put out more lessons in the future. If you want more topics, just feel free to comment below. If you have any questions, just go to Investagrams. You can, we can open discussions here. And if you want to learn some more, um, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have tons of content here. We have tons of content here. We'd appreciate if you subscribe. And we're gonna we're gonna put out more content. And in the future, if you want to learn more about, if you want to learn more about Investor Screener and utilize its full full power, you can check out Investor Prime. So Investor Prime is our is our access to all our most powerful features, where you could get the Investor Screener Plus. The full alerts of Investa Watcher. Then you can access powerful trade analytics with Investa Journal. And then it also comes with a 400 page ebook learning module when you subscribe to Investa Prime Plus annually. Okay. And then there's tons of bonuses here like charting automation tools, like finding 52 week high and low in one click. Support Resistance and Fibonacci. And then Broker Analytics. We're also going to add this at the end of May, hopefully. So you can check out the, the price rates here. You can save a lot. So it's not... We made it a point to make it cheap. Basically, one, one grab ride or one movie or one meal 
almost equates to one month of having these powerful tools. So imagine that that value. If you're if you're consuming movie tickets or eating meals, two meals, or grabbing taxis or cars, and for one day or two days, Invest a Prime actually puts value to you and helps you become a better trader for one month for all, for the same price. Okay, so that's the value that we bring in. So you can check out the features here. All right. So that's our video for today. I hope that you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more.